My Impact, Influence and Confidence programme is designed with talented women in mind to engage, inspire and build self-belief at work. For more information, go to bitfamous.co.uk. Hi, I'm Penny Haslam. Today in the podcast, do you think about what other people think about you? Do you sometimes, because I know I do this, put into other people's heads their thoughts about you? So it's a kind of projected, projecting onto other people what you might be thinking about yourself or sort of finding another way to do self-criticism. So I think, for example, my neighbours are watching me when I'm gardening and because I'm a bit unsure of myself gardening, I imagine they're thinking, oh, look at Penny. She shouldn't be trimming that hydrangea at this time of year, should she? Oh, that's not right. Oh, what's she planting that there for? No, no, no. We know much better than her, right? Because they've got a really good garden. So you obviously know what they're doing. So I've kind of anticipated what I think they're saying, which is utter rubbish, isn't it? Because they are not thinking that. When I look up at their window, they are not looking at me. In fact, they might be even be on holiday. So <laughs> they're not even there. So why do we do this? Why do we put into other people's heads what we think they're thinking about us? It's a way of undermining ourselves, isn't it? And keeping us in the cave instead of breaking out into the meadow and the horizons beyond. Okay, so watch out for this, I'd say. Now, I got an email this week from someone called Leslie. Big hi out to you, Leslie, who had actually been in one of the in the audience of one of my talks at a conference. And she dropped me a note on LinkedIn to say, thank you, because what I'd said about making yourself a little bit famous had given her confidence to take a chance on something she'd previously thought was out of reach. Now, she took a chance by asking her colleagues and contacts to nominate her for an award. Now, she's a senior leader in an organisation and she'd been worried that they'd think she was cheeky or even obnoxious for asking them. So, isn't that weird? And so, we may be stopping asking other people for help or advice or to take an action, like nominate you for an award. Gosh, an award. I mean, how dare you? (laughs) How dare you think you're good enough for an award? You're so obnoxious and cheeky. Anyway, it didn't work out like that because often second guessing what people are thinking is, well, you're you're never going to get the answer because you'll never know what people are thinking. You'll never know. The reality, she told me, was that her colleagues and contacts told her how wonderful she was how much she'd helped them and that they would be delighted, no, honoured to nominate her. So she is extremely chuffed with herself, is our Leslie. She's been shortlisted as well for this award. (laughs) So well worth doing. And she doesn't even care if she fails to get the main prize. Seriously, for her, she's a winner already because her experience had emboldened her and also shown her that you can't always second guess what people are thinking about you. You really can't because you will never know. You just have to say to yourself, well, they might be thinking that, but they might not. I will never know. And there we are, a neutral situation in which we find ourselves to press on with our um, ambitions and our challenges and the tasks ahead without that feeling of criticism or judgment, which means I can now go in the garden and do what the hell I want without any fear of judgment or criticism because we don't know what the neighbours are thinking. In fact, one neighbour came up to me in the village the other week, in fact, last year, when my plant, my particular plant was in full bloom. And she went, that is an amazing plant. What is it? So, you know, they don't know everything. So people can surprise you. And I just say, you know, if we can, try not to burden yourself with what you think other people are thinking.
My third book is coming out in 2024. It's all about confidence at work and in life. And as you'd expect from me, there are lots of stories and ideas to help you build confidence, whether it's for yourself or for others. It might be colleagues, teammates, friends and family. Head to pennyhaslam.co.uk slash confidence dash book.